Hey everyone, and welcome to another Zim tutorial. Today I want to explain you what the smoothing feature does, and in which scenarios it is a good idea to use it. Smoothing is one of the exclusive Zim Apex features and doesn't require any firmware update. In the first topic of this video I will show you where you can find the smoothing feature in your Zim Manager. In the second topic I will explain you what smoothing actually does and how it works. For a better comprehension I will also show you some example pictures. The third topic will be about the advantages and disadvantages of smoothing. This should help you to better estimate if smoothing will work well with your playstyle or not. In the last topic of this video I will give you some tips and guidelines on what smoothing values work the best. So, let's start with the first topic of this video. How to get access to the smoothing feature. To find this feature, start your Zim Manager and connect it to your Zim. Once you have a connection, click on the options in the top right of your Zim Manager. After that, click on the Global Settings button. In the following menu you can find the option to activate the Expert Mode. Tick the box next to it. This is necessary because the smoothing feature is locked behind the Expert Mode. Once you have done that, you can press the save button in the bottom right and leave this menu. You can do that by clicking on the arrow in the top left. The smoothing feature can now be found in your game configurations. Click on the edit button in the top left of your Zim Manager to enter the configuration mode of your current game profile. After that, swipe one time to the right to enter the hip menu. The smoothing feature is part of the advanced sensitivity options. Press the button with the three dots below your hip sensitivity to expand these settings. You can now find the smoothing feature near the top of the advanced settings. Smoothing can be configured for both, your hip and aim down sights configuration. I will now show you where you can find it in your aim down sights configuration. Swipe one more time to the right to enter your aim down sights menu. Here you have to expand the advanced settings again by clicking on the button with the three dots. Just like before, the smoothing option will be below the synchronization feature. It is up to you if you want to use the same smoothing values for hip and aim down sights, or completely different ones for each mode. In the second topic we will take a closer look at the smoothing feature to find out what it actually does. The idea of smoothing is to reduce, or even fully remove mouse stutter. With mouse stutter I refer to two scenarios. The first one is when your mouse cursor is jittering and jumping around although you do not move the mouse at all. The second one is when the mouse cursor randomly jumps to different directions while you try to draw a perfect line on the mouse pad. The second scenario is the most common one for mouse stutter. Here you have an example picture for this scenario. The upper line is a perfect horizontal straight. This is the left to right movement you make with your mouse on the mouse pad. With a mouse that has no stutter this will then also be your cursor movement on the screen. The middle line is how your mouse cursor movement would look like with close to no mouse jitter. As you can see, it almost looks like a perfectly straight horizontal line. Only once in a while it goes a little bit up or down. The lower line is how your mouse cursor movement would look like with a strong mouse stutter. It constantly jumps up and down and doesn't have any consistency at all. This is obviously very bad for your aim and will reduce your overall accuracy in the game. A stutter like that will also reduce the game's aim assist by quite a bit. Zim smoothing is a feature to reduce, or even remove those random cursor jumps. With a little bit of smoothing you can turn the lower line into the middle line. If you use even more smoothing, then the lowest line will look like the upper one. Overall there are several reasons for why a mouse can suffer from mouse stutter. Some of those can be addressed by adjusting your mouse DPI value, changing the lift-off distance, or the pulling rate. Other origins of mouse stutter cannot be removed by your mouse settings though. For those causes smoothing has been developed. Here is a more extreme example picture on how smoothing works. The following red graph is the mouse movement I did on my mouse pad. 
I tried to make two perfect waves with my mouse but kind of failed a little bit. Now, what you would expect to see in the game is that your crosshair makes the very same red graph movement. However, since my mouse has a lot of mouse stutter, the actual in-game crosshair movement that I get instead looks like the following black graph. This graph has a lot of jitter and stutter. I would even go so far and say that a crosshair movement like this is close to being unplayable. In the following picture I overlaid the two first graphs. As you can see, the black graph doesn't even come close to my actual mouse movements on the mouse pad. Instead of a nice and clean crosshair movement it looks like a sawtooth wave. Now I will do the very same mouse movement again. But this time I will use some zim smoothing. That way my in-game crosshair movement will look like the following. For a better comparison I overlaid the previous black graph as well. The green line is much closer to the wave movement that I actually made on my mouse pad. In the last picture you can also see my mouse movement. The green graph is not only more consistent, but also much closer to the red mouse movement graph on the mouse pad. Most of the time the two graphs are pretty much identical, only in a few areas there is a minor difference between the two. As you can see, Zim smoothing can even turn very imprecise stutter movements into a playable and smooth mouse aiming experience. With more smoothing the green graph would get even closer to the red one. Smoothing is not the only way to reduce or fully remove mouse stutter with your Zim but it is definitely the strongest and most effective one. However, smoothing also has some disadvantages, which is why in the next topic I will go over the benefits and disadvantages of smoothing. The biggest advantage of smoothing is obviously its ability to reduce mouse stutter. As you saw in the previous topic, this even works with mice that suffer from a very strong mouse jitter. Since I already covered that point in detail, I will now continue with the second advantage of smoothing. It noticeably increases the aim assist. There are two reasons for why smoothing increases the aim assist. The first one is that even minor mouse stutter reduces the aim assist. The small and random jumps that your crosshair is doing when you move the mouse around cannot be replicated with an analog stick. It is impossible to create such a movement with a controller. This is why the aim assist algorithm doesn't consider and support such a movement behavior. The aim assist algorithm will then just deactivate itself when mouse stutter occurs. This is why minor mouse stutter is very effective to reduce the aim assist. Since most people prefer more aim assist though, smoothing is a great option to stop your potential mouse stutter from reducing the aim assist. Another reason for why smoothing increases the aim assist is that analog stick movements are usually very clean and straight. They hardly have any movement deviation. Look at this picture from before again. If you peg the analog stick of a controller to the right, you would get a crosshair movement line that looks exactly like the one at the very top. It is perfectly straight with no variance. If you want to replicate that line with a mouse, then it will most likely look like the one in the middle. Even if your mouse has no stutter, you might not be able to perform a perfectly straight line on the mouse pad. These minor inconsistencies are causing the same aim assist problems that mouse stutter does, they reduce the aim assist. Of course, this doesn't reduce the aim assist as much as strong mouse stutter will, but you can still prevent that minor reduction by using some smoothing. With smoothing even an imperfect mouse movement on the mouse pad will look like the analog stick graph at the top, and that will boost the strength of the aim assist. The closer you can make your mouse movements appear like the ones from an analog stick the more aim assist you will have. The third advantage of smoothing is that it allows you to use zim and mouse settings that would otherwise introduce stutter. An example for this would be a wireless mouse that only manages to send a fluctuating 600 to 700 Hz ratio. This would cause mouse stutter when the zim is set to 1000 Hz. With smoothing you can compensate that stutter and continue to play on 1000 Hz. Another example would be to play with synchronization off, which in a lot of games can cause mouse stutter. With smoothing you can remove that minor stutter. 
There are also some disadvantages though. The biggest one is that too much smoothing will make your mouse movements feel spongy and less direct. When smoothing is set to a very high value, the smoothing algorithm will optimize your mouse movements so much, that it will kind of feel like a minor delay that is added to your crosshair movements. Another reason for why you might not want to use smoothing is that you can usually solve minor mouse stutter problems with other mouse settings or Zim features. For the most part these alternatives do not influence the aim assist or your actual in-game aiming as much as smoothing does, and are in my opinion the better way to address stutter problems. Smoothing can be added on top if the other solutions do not help, or will not reduce the mouse stutter well enough. I summarized all of these solutions in my how to remove mouse stutter tutorial video. You can look it up under link 1 in the video description. Finding the right balance between a smoothing value that removes stutter or increases aim assist, but doesn't add any negative effects can be tricky though. This is why in the last few minutes I want to discuss exactly that. In the fourth topic I will now show you which values work best with this feature. As you probably already noticed, the smoothing feature has a strength slider in the Zim Manager to customize its effect. The possible value range that you can use goes from 0 to 20. A value of 0 will deactivate smoothing, while 20 is the maximum strength that you can use. A smoothing value of 1 to 3 is perfect if you want to slightly increase your aim assist without facing any disadvantages. Your mouse movements will feel identical to using no smoothing, with the exception of having a slightly stronger aim assist. This value range is not enough to reduce mouse stutter though, so primarily use it for aim assist purposes. If you experience mouse stutter, or you want to moderately increase the aim assist, then I recommend a value of 3 to 7. Smoothing values in that range will hardly affect your mouse movements in a negative way. They will still feel very responsive and precise. Also, this value range is sufficient for most minor and moderate mouse stutter problems. A smoothing value of 8 to 10 is ideal if you have very strong mouse stutter. It will also boost the aim assist by quite a bit. The negative effects of smoothing will start to become noticeable though. They will still be at an acceptable level, but if you go above 10, then your mouse movements will become less and less responsive. With a smoothing value of around 10 to 15, you will start to notice that your mouse movements will feel spongy. Therefore, I do not recommend you to go beyond that value range. If you still experience mouse stutter, even with a smoothing of 15 or higher, then the reason for your stutter most likely lies in your gaming hardware itself, or there is an overall setup error in your Zim configuration. Using the wrong in-game settings can also cause this, so make sure that you play with the recommended game settings. Overall every game has a different game mechanic, therefore you might have to customize this feature for each game individually. The smoothing value that works for one game might not do it for another game. If you have any questions about the Zim, or about the smoothing feature, just ask in the comments down below. If you liked this video, hit the like button or even subscribe to this channel. Also, let me know if you would like to see more of these tutorials in the comments down below, and I will maybe see you in the next one. Until then, enjoy your Zim experience.